Hey guys, what is up? My name is Dan, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make French finger biscuits, otherwise known as ladies' finger or sponge fingers. Let's begin. Very easy. So the first thing you need is 125 grams of caster sugar. Then you'll need 115 grams of flour. Then you need one eight teaspoon of salt, and then you need one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then four eggs, which we're going to separate. The equipment you'll need is pretty basic. You need a flexible spatula. You need two clean mixing bowls. I'll explain why soon. And then you need a hand mixer. You can use your planetary mixer or stand mixer, whatever you like. Then the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius and just keep it running until your biscuits are ready. So I've got both my mixing bowls here, and I'm going to begin separating the egg whites from the egg yolks, and make sure they are clean. see in the next frame i have already separated my egg yolks and egg whites and i'm going to start by making a sabion sabion is basically a mixture of egg white egg egg yolk sorry and ha and your half half cup of that sugar basically you want to beat it until it gets a really thick texture that forms ribbons when it falls off your spatula and i'll be showing you how it's supposed to be in the next few frames so now at this point you're going to want, in, want to add your vanilla essence in and you want to achieve a really pale yellow color with this sabion so you want to continue beating until you get these ribbons or otherwise known as lava so here you want to go from a low speed then to a medium speed and then to a high speed Now we are done beating the sabion and I'm going to show you what the texture is supposed to be. Just grab your spatula, just pull some up and you can see how it ribbons down and falls like lava. So now I've got my egg whites in a clean bowl. Make sure your whisk is clean, make sure the bowl is clean, There's no, there should be no fat, no detergent in it, otherwise your egg whites won't form. Now we're going to add a pinch of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar helps in stabilizing your egg whites it will help give it more volume and then you want to start at a low speed first as you can see why at a low speed because of these millions of air bubbles that will give your egg white more volume more texture and more fluffiness then you want to stop add in the remaining half of that sugar and then you slowly want to go up uh, up one speed and then incorporate the sugar well into the egg whites and then as you do that you want to inc gradually increase your speed then you reach something called as a soft peak stage like this then as you continue beating it you reach a hard peak stage so this hard peak stage basically when you pull out your whisk from the from the mixture as you can see these peaks like forming and then a way to test it is by doing this holding it above your head that means you know it's ready now you want to fold in the egg white mixture into the sabion slowly so don't knock any air out that's why we're folding and then you want to sift your flour and your salt into this mixture so i'll explain i'll show you why it's so important to sieve your flour before you use it 
this is why these little lumps that are formed there is, are all the impurities of the flour that are getting caught up in that sieve. Now you want to fold slowly, be gentle, don't knock any air out. Fold from the, bot from the bottom and put the rest on top. That is your batter. Now you want to grab a good high quality piping bag with a round tip on it. I don't have one so I'll be using a star nozzle and then you want to fill it up. Then you're going to want to grab a baking tray and you want to pipe out four dots at the corner. I'll explain why in a minute. You want to grab your parchment paper now and place it. So parchment paper, so these four dots will help your parchment paper stick to the baking tray without shaking, without moving, without causing you any inconvenience. You want to just trim off the excess parchment paper off the side and start piping your biscuits. Once you're done piping, you want to place it in the oven for 16 to 18 minutes and then once they come out, let them rest for at least 20 minutes. So this biscuit can be used to make tiramisu, you can have it as an evening snack with your coffee, with your tea and it will wow your guests. So when you break a biscuit, the texture should be like this on the inside. That means you've done a good job. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe and share.